What's up dudes and dudes in the internet, my name is Seth and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tomb Raider in Trove. Now Tomb Raider is one of the unique characters where you can build him two different ways, but before we get started with any of that, hope you're doing great, hope you're having a fantastic day, hope this video makes your day even better, and if you would please hit that like button, I would very much appreciate it. Now, as I was saying, you can actually build the Tomb Raider as far as a DPS damage per, car uh, damage per second or a tank. Now. Most of all, people are gonna be building this character as a tank. I'll talk about why in a little bit because most of all that has to do with just the Tomb Raider's abilities in general. But uh, as a DPS character, you're gonna wanna, of course, just focus on the mains, you know, magic damage, critical hit, critical damage. Those will be the main stats that you focus on and those will be perfect gems for you. But the big reason why most people don't actually wanna build the Tomb Raider towards damage is because his abilities themselves are very, very slow. While your minions end up becoming powerful based on your uh, actual magic damage, Damage and stuff like that. Sure, uh, the bulk of where the Tomb Raider's ultimate attack is going to come from is when you summon your ult. Uh, this little guy, of course, is going to end up becoming stronger and stronger based on the amount of minions that you have on the field. Uh, you kind of sacrifice them for him. And a nice little combo that you can actually do, a good synergy that you can do with this character, is have a Chloromancer because the Exploding Plant, the number one ability from the Chloromancer, can actually heal that ultimate ability out because otherwise you're going to have a very tough time trying to keep him alive. Like, he's just going to die eventually. But the Ground Stomp attack that your ultimate ability does is actually going to be the highest damage that the Doom Razor can do. And while it can end up destroying and absolutely wrecking U9 bosses and Ultra Towers and stuff like that, for the most part, because of how slow slowly he attacks and kind of just randomly picks and chooses when he does that stomp attack that's why i can't recommend going towards damage because other characters just clearly outshine him just because of the speed of their attacks right now, if you're building towards damage, of course, you're going to want to get all health, all health, all health. None of the area stats matter. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. Even health regen, you don't really need it because it doesn't really do that much in this game. But uh, yeah, that's all you're going to focus on. The perfect gems for this character are just going to be max health, max health, and I guess health regen if you can actually get it. But you don't need health regen like it's not a requirement because you're going to be staying alive anyways and then the classroom ability for this guy is going to make it so that when you cast your number one banshee spoon you're going to summon a little banshee dude that's going to heal your minions not required for the tank build at all now if you don't have any good stellar gems using you know getting a class gem uh of course is going to always guaranteed be a stellar gem so that of course is going to be helpful to you if you just need the stellar gem but if it doesn't have the ideal stats you can easily scrap it for something that does and you don't even focus on any of these uh, abilities of course you know you can go for cu cubic curtains stun versus gonna stun enemies volatile velocity is useless i just can't have it though and then uh the ring is of course it's just gonna be health regen again or if you're building towards damage crit hit magic fine whatever you want for the ally, I just go for the magic, uh, d uh, magic fine cotton candy. But otherwise, yeah, you can just build, you know, whatever you want. Just go for like a damage one or one that ends up giving you a survivability. Prowling Shadow or Samantha are actually really good ones because they keep this character alive a lot longer. Uh, but for the most part, the bulk of this character's strength is going to come from the emblem and flask effect. Now. I've never actually talked about this in a video because I was very, very worried that the devs would end up nerfing this because it's actually a little bit cheap and kind of just makes the Tomb Raider invincible. Uh, but honestly speaking, if a dev is actually watching this video, I would say come up with a solution before you end up nerfing this, guys and gals, because something like this is a requirement. If the devs ever actually patch this and take this away, that will pretty much ruin uh, Tomb Raider as a character. Like he will no longer be a good tank. So we're gonna be using the Zealous Emblem, which restores all your spent energy on your flask effect. The Vial of Unleashed Power, which triggers your flask healing effect and your emblems when you use your ultimate ability and the Chromatic Emblem. So the way that this character is gonna work is only in Ultra Towers only that's the only place that the tank character is going to end up working you're not going to be using him for normal adventuring or anything like that if you want to adventure with him build him towards dps but as a tank you're pretty much going to be using your banshee's boon to give you invincibility and then every time you cast your ultimate ability you're getting the chronomatic emblem effect while also recharging all of your energy and while you're in your banshee's boon like this you're pretty much invincible so that's all there really is to it, and that's, you know, you don't even need the chromatic uh, ally or anything like that. So, it's a little bit cheaty, yeah, but honestly speaking, you need to have enough health to actually have the survivability in the first place, um, because otherwise it's not going to end up working. 
Granted, like, just to give an example as to uh, people that might think it's a little bit of a cheap tactic and the devs who might actually end up nerfing it, uh, honestly speaking, I've been playing this game for a very long time, and even though I have 4 million health on my Tomb Raider, uh, we're on PC, but these apply to the console as well, I cannot out-survive the Ultra Pinata with this much health you just can't like no matter what the enemies are always gonna end up absolutely destroying you no matter what you do uh so this has to stay in the game uh hopefully they don't end up nerfing it because i made this video i don't mean to sound worried about it but like i said i never talked about this but needless to say whatever they end up doing who cares if they end up breaking tomb razor whatever i'm still strong enough to do ultra thanks so much for watching though folks very much appreciate it don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe for more daily content and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below have a great day sign or stay epic